Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I know I'm a little late to the party, but then again, <laughs> the game went on last night until about 11.30-ish, 11 11.40, 11 11.45. So, yeah, I wasn't, there was no way I was going to record last night. No way I was going to record this last night. So I'm recording it today. So this week in indoor football, and we are down to the last – 12 days of the season. The Shreveport Rougarou have been announced. They will announce their league that they will be joining on August the 15th. Likely the NAL, but you never know. You never know, but it's probably going to be the NAL. In the TAL City Finals, a big shocker in which the Iowa Wu, who won a single game in the regular season, shocked the Kansas City Goats in a upset thriller in which they were up, you know, by 14 plus at multiple points throughout this game. Again, appointment viewing on Saturday night was this game because boy, it was a thriller. You know, the goats were doing everything they could to come back and win this game. But ultimately at the end of the day, they try to go for two to win it. And it was unsuccessful. On the other hand, Doolift beats the brakes off of Ozarks. So, it will be the Duel of Harper Monsters, who have won six games, six and three on the season. That's including the playoffs already. Taking on the now two-win Iowa Woo in Duel of this upcoming Saturday night at 7 p.m. Central in Duel of. It's going to be very intriguing to see a team that won a single game in the regular season. This might be worse than the Washington Valley. This might be worse than the Washington Valley if Arena Mania 1 goes the Iowa Wolves way. So August the 10th will be the only game of the weekend. We will talk about that game at about 9.30 Central right after the game. So so we'll be here right after. Of course, we'll give my condolences to both teams. Um, and then talking about that on the other side, the IFL uh, again, a big shocker in which Massachusetts showed up yet again. Green Bay did not. Green Bay gets blown out by a dominant rushing game. You know, benefit of the crew didn't really have to do too much. You know, Green Bay was making mistake after mistake, and ultimately, a 51 28 game. You know, it was just it it, it 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 was rough. It was rough. It was rough. It was a rough game. And then the other semifinal again, Monster Trucks did this game in. You know, unfortunately, that was booked way in advance. But ultimately, you know, we could have had this Friday night too. But I mean, it is what it is. So we could have had the recap on Saturday. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry too much about it. It will be the Arizona Rattlers who beat the brakes off of San Diego at home. You know, 51-28 in the first semifinal. In the other semifinal, the Western Conference Championship, Arizona beats the brakes off of San Diego 58-23. to So that means we get a rematch of the 2021 United Bowl. It will be Dalton Sneed and that potent Arizona Rattlers defense who shut down San Diego. You know, that defense got shut down and Sneed played absolutely lights out. It will be these two teams. And again, Benefield is part of the guys who won that championship in 2021 for the Pirates. It will be them taking on a new look Arizona Rattlers led by Dalton Sneed the guy who won it all for Bay Area last year. And that will be August the 17th, 3 o'clock Central Time on CBS Sports Network. Make sure you get to CBS Sports Network for the Arena Mania Championship. Be sure to come to YouTube Live or your local station in Duluth. So that's basically it. Tommy Armstrong has indeed retired. Um, I usually don't talk about player retirements, but, you know, I watched Tommy at Nebraska. I watched Tommy with the beef, winning championships. Upstanding guy. Uh, and I know he's done plenty of interviews with some of the guys in this circle over the years. 
He's just he's just one of those classy guys that knows how to get it done. He got it done over his career, especially the last couple of years, winning you know the two back to back championships for the B. Um, the IFL Hall of Fame. Yes, I know it's kind of weird, you know, have your own commissioner, you know, be inducted. But Todd Tryon, Clinton Solomon, and Houston Lillard are the guys going in the IFL Hall of Fame. So, the you know, illustrious clears for all three of those guys, you know, and the way they have impacted the game, you know. And again, some of this was before my time getting into the IFL, but. You know, these three guys, they deserve it. They all deserve it. You know, try and we know, at least I know a little bit more about, you know, because of these past couple of years, you know, since 2019, you know, and everything like that. The other two, I don't really know too much about. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. I don't, I don't, I don't watch old IFL games like that. I probably don't remember if they played in the last five years or so, but it's fine. So, yeah, that is basically going to do it from here. I know, very short. That's probably how the next couple of weeks are going to go. Very short, simple, compact, probably like eight minutes or less because there's just not too many games to talk about anymore. There's not too much to talk about anymore as we get to the wind down of the season. So that'll do it for me. I will see you all on Saturday night. Again, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock Central. We'll talk about Arena Mania 1 and how the TAL season, you know, has gone. Be sure to watch my review with the Arena Football Nation. In the meantime, to hold you over, and be sure to subscribe. I know there's a lot of people watching, but they're not subscribing, so that kind of concerns me. We're trying to get to 300 subscribers here, so that's what I at least want to do. So if you guys can do that, that'd be great. Until then, Big Boy Sports signing out, and I'll see you soon.